Dice! What the hell is this? What are you doing? Come on now, really. I thought out of everybody, you were going to try to set an example for the whole gaming community that you weren't going to add those currencies! That you weren't going to make it so you can actually buy currency! Why is this in here now? What is all of this? You didn't put this in your game for ages and now you decide to put it in? What? What influenced you to do this? Now, you know, I wouldn't be completely angry. And just letting you guys know I'm doing this live right now. I actually am looking at this right now with my own eyes. And I want to shout out um, Platel. I'll, I'll show you his Twitter right here. He's the one that actually told me about this. And I didn't believe it at first. I'm like, no way, man. No way that this company decided to put this type of currency into the game again. I, I didn't believe it at first. But oh my god, they did it. They actually did it. They said, screw you guys, we're going to put this into the game now. Now, like I said, I want to be angry because it takes time to create these masterpieces. It takes time to make things like this or like this or this skin or these type of weapon skins. You know, it takes time. It needs an art team to actually sit down, sketch these out, put it into the computer, animate them, make them look cool. It takes time to do all this time, this stuff. It takes time and resources. And of course, as we all know, it takes money to do all of this type of stuff. But come on now, Dice. Really? You couldn't put any of this stuff in the game before? If you think back to before they put all of these in-game currencies into the game, the skins were crap! None of them were good! I didn't spend a dime out of my currency yet. I haven't spent any of this for any of the weapon skins, for any of the soldier skins, because they're trash. And then they, de they finally decide, hey, let's put really cool looking skins, like this one right here. This one is dope. This is a dope skin. But guess what? You have to pay some cash for that. Now, let's see. This is 750, I don't know what they're called, B coins. I don't know what the B coins are called. But this is for an epic skin, 750. Let's see how much that actually is if you were to get that. So if you wanted that skin, obviously, obviously you can't do the $5 option because that's that. So you have to go to the $10 option just to get a 750 skin. And that will leave you with a little over 300 of the uh, okay so it's called battlefield currency it'll, it'll leave you with a little over 300 battlefield currency can you get anything with 300 battlefield currency okay so you can get a rare skin so okay so they can allow you it's not like call of duty where you're left with 200 cob points and you literally can't spend that on anything in the game so it's like a complete waste of money to spend it on anything no they at least allow you to buy certain things with the leftover currency but I just don't think this is right. And the main thing that I don't think this is right for is that you can't spend any of your company coin on any of these epic skins. I, I can't believe I'm getting angry over this because I was trying to stay as positive as I possibly could with all these games because these companies have been fixing it. Like Treyarch. Treyarch has been putting in work with their game lately for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. They made Blackout free for a full month. They put a free, a brand new free map into Blackout for everybody to play that was a great move by them so you know companies are actually stepping up and they're actually bringing content to the table for a lot of the people who don't want to cough up any more than sixty dollars for their game but now look at this all of the epic skins anything that you want epic epic skin right here anything else anything that's the only epic oh epic skin right here let's go to the soldiers epic skin here epic skin here epic 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 they all can only be purchased with Battlefield coins. You can't purchase it with any company coin. What's the point in that? What's the actual purpose in that? So they're forcing you to spend money on anything that's at least half decent looking. Because let's look at anything that's not an epic skin. This is hideous. Come on now. That's like you are literally already wearing that as a German soldier in this game. Why would I purchase it for 4,000 company coin or even 150? You have to pay for money points for this. Well, you don't have to. You can use company coin. But they're still putting in an option that you can purchase it with real money for a basic German outfit. The basic German outfits that are already in the game look better than this. This is hideous. This is hideous. Is there at least anything decent that's actually good looking? Okay, so a rare skin. It's still not that good. I'm not, what is going on, man? What is going on? So pretty much, if you want anything that looks cool. Okay, this is actually pretty dope. 
This is actually pretty dope out of all of them. And I guess this is pretty cool too, the Sandstorm. So these two right here, these two are the only cool actual camos that are not an epic skin in the store. Okay? Can, can, we, can we get that here? So it's only two things. Two things. Let, let me count how many things are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So 19 things. There's 19 things total in this store right now, and only two of them that are not epic look cool. Are you joking with me? Is this a joke? Are you serious right now, Dice? Is this ha really how you're going to be managing this game right now? No. Now, you see, I do have a little bit of hope for this company, but I just want to point out right here that they should have put these epic skins and epic camos for company coin as well. Now, I did check out Jack Frag's video, and he actually purchased everything in the store, and these things, this skin right here, which is the epic skin, and also this skin right here, this one looks half decent, but when he showed off the STG epic skin that you need to spend $10 for, it is the most basic camo in the whole game. It is nothing special about this camo. It's nothing that really catches your eyes visually for this skin, and they're charging you $10 for it and no other option to use your company coin you know people have been grinding this game since it's come out not spending a single cent out of their company coin they've been saving it all not spending anything just for this moment for them to actually release something cool and when they release something cool you can't purchase it What's going on with this game, man? Okay, you know what? I don't want to I don't want to annoy you guys with this anymore. I'm going to cut this to some gameplay and we'll chat a little bit more about this. So like I said, out of any company that were to do anything like this, I have faith in Dice because Dice has been very loyal to their community and they've just been giving us everything that we needed and they listen to us. They talk to us on Twitter, they interact with us. They know what the community wants with their game. So I think that eventually down the road it's going to happen. But just the fact, just the idea that they decided to put these things into their game without even experimenting with putting company coin in so you have an option to get these epic skins blows my mind. It's almost like they're trying to take the Activision and Call of Duty route where you're forced to buy these things and you don't have any other option. You can't grind towards it. You can't do anything. You must spend money to get it. And that's not what this game was always about. Battlefield 5 was different. It gave you an option. It gave you a change of an environment where you could grind the game. And that's what, that's honestly the only option that you could have. You couldn't spend money in this game at all. You had to grind it. You had to play it. And you had to earn company coin in order to unlock some of the things that you wanted. Now they add in the Battlefield coins. And now this is going to be a whole different thing where people are going to be complaining about this and whining about it, including myself. But like I said, I have hope. I have faith. I think they're going to change it eventually, but like I said, it shouldn't have come out like this in the first place. There should be options that allow you to use company coins and battlefield coins in the same exact section. So for all those epic skins that you saw, it shouldn't only be battlefield coins. You should have an option to grind to either get them or get company coins to get them or anything of that sort. And if they don't want to take that path, then they should at least make some of the, the rare or common skins at least look half decent. Um, at least make them look like you put some effort into making them. Because right now, it looks like all the effort is going into making the skins that are going to be costing some real like real world money instead of putting some effort into the skins that is actually worth grinding for and using your company coins to get it's not fair it shouldn't be this way and yes like i said i understand from the business perspective that they need to make money and you know it takes time it takes money it takes effort to actually make these skins they need to hire people and hire artists to design these skins and so on and so forth but, I mean, come on now, Dice. Come on. This isn't the right way to go. Especially for the consumers, especially for the players who love and play your game and have been grinding it since day one, saving up their company coins to get something decent. For those people, you should at least give them the option to purchase some of these epic skins. At least for 30,000 or 40,000 company coin, which is a significant amount. That's a lot of company coin. But at least you're giving them an option. At least it doesn't look like it's forced like you're forced in call of duty or all these other games where you have to spend real in life money give us the option to either grind for these skins or just purchase them 
And then it'll be fair, because then people will either, you know, they'll cough up the money or they'll grind for it. But don't force people to have to buy it. Don't give them just one option. At least give us a couple. But thank you all for tuning in to yet another video. I hope you all enjoy this one. Make sure you leave your comments down below on what you think about all this nonsense going on at EA Dice. Like I said, I really hope that they allow you to earn company coin and spend it on some of these epic skins, or at least make some of the rare common skins at least look half decent so we want to get those with our company coins instead. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you hated it, make sure you dislike. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button to be notified on all of my recent uploads. You can catch me on Twitter, at JBoneTheMan, and if you just want to catch me streaming as well, you can catch me at JBoneTheMan as well on Twitch. Thank you all for tuning in to yet another video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.